I'm having some big time difficulty with the motors and the motor tuning in Mach 3. So I can get the motors to turn. And unfortunately, that's all it does. And that's at full bore. And I think it was going like 100 inches a minute is what it was supposed to be. So that's not right. So this is what I call Y1. And this is the driver for Y1 right here. So I have everything hooked up how it says. I double checked that I had this whole thing wired in parallel because this is an eight wire stepper motor. So I have everything wired in parallel right here, just like that. And I have everything hooked up just how it should be. Double checked multiple times. And come over here, here's the Y axis. So this is coming to Y1. The calm is the positive. Pulse is this one right here, it's a negative. And direction, that's a negative. So to both positives over here, I have the positive calm. So that's where I have that little jumper there for. And then there is the pulse. And there is the direction right there, clockwise. Whatever you want to call it. So this is the only driver hooked up right now. And I just want to see if this Y-axis motor can even turn. And I have it hooked up, powers on. So here is the Y-axis motor movement profile, whatever you want to call it. So and I'm, I made sure I'm in inches, not millimeters. So this should be 680 steps per. Let's just do some quick math really quick. The pinion gear has a pitch diameter of 0.75. So one revolution equals 2.355 inches of travel. So to get one inch of travel, 0.425 revolutions. And we have it set to 1 8 micro stepping. One revolution equals 1600 pulses or steps. One rev over 1600 pulses equals 0.425. So you do the cross multiply and divide that, that all that jazz, you get 680 pulses for 0.425 revolutions, which is one inch of travel. I even went to settings and axis calibration, and it gave me a configuration for the y-axis of, what's that, a million steps per inch. Something's not right there either. So I hit OK, and I wanted to see what would happen. Check this out. Yeah, it freaked out. I mean, so it at least moves, and it at least does something but it's not smooth, and it's not fast. For ports and pins, and motor outputs, I only have the Y-axis selected, because that's the only thing I needed to run. And step pin and direction pin is zero, and that's what it says in the directions for the board. For the step port and the direction port, it's one. It's one for all of them just like it says in the directions. And here's a setup where we have the COM plus, the common plus going to both direction plus and pulse plus. Pulse minus going to pulse minus, direction minus going to direction minus on the board. And that's exactly how I have it set up. See, that's how they have it set up here. This is the directions. They enable the axis, the step pin number and the direction pin number zero, and then step port is one, direction port is one for all of them. So I even tried switching motors and drivers, so now I'm on this x-axis motor and x-axis driver. So I'm trying this driver, and I have it hooked up to that y-axis. So I'm actually moving the y-axis in Mach 3, and I get the same results. So that's telling me it's not just the motor, not just the driver for this driver and motor. It's not just that. Almost forgot to mention, all the drivers are set up the same for 8th inch micro stepping and 2.7 amps. That's what was recommended for the stepper motors, so I'm just going with it. And that's also where I got the 1600 from for the number of pulses per revolution for these steppers, because they normally come with 200 pulses per revolution if they're not micro step, but since it's micro stepped at 8 times, there's 1600 steps. I even spent an entire evening after work downloading Windows 7 32-bit 
So this is originally a 64-bit computer and I was able to download 32-bit. So now this has 32-bit Windows 7 running Mach 3. Did not change the steppers one bit. Still the same thing going. So I did a little bit more research on YouTube. Right where that says Advanced Configuration ACPI, I saw a lot of guys put this back in standard PC mode. I don't have a standard PC mode right here. Also in the ports and pins configuration, I changed the kernel speed to 100 kilohertz because that's what the card says. It's upside down, but 3 axis, 100 kilohertz, simple USB Mach 3 card. It didn't help. And I've seen people do a driver test, but I can't seem to find driver test in the Mach 3 folder where I downloaded it. It's not even there. So, and it's, I heard it doesn't work on a 64-bit computer, so that is also why I downloaded the 32-bit Windows 7. Still didn't show up after I downloaded it. So I can't do a driver test either. Across this CP- and this CW+, I get 5 volts, and across this CW- to the CP+, I get 5 volts. So this is something really interesting. So check this out here, when I put this on 150, and this is the power going to the driver. So the VCC in the ground going to the driver. So right there, we're looking at something like 36-ish, maybe. Somewhere around there, over 30. So that's plenty enough to supply voltage to these stepper motors. Putting these probe tips on the A plus and the A minus, those ones right there, A plus, A minus, watch this thing go nuts. I'll keep them hooked on there and then I'll press the up and down button for that axis in Mach 3. So we're showing about getting all the way forward, it was 15 volts, so we're getting a ride around, I don't know, 8 volts sometimes. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm doing that right. Hooking the probe tips up to the A plus and A minus. So is it worth it to get another PC, another desktop computer that has like Windows 7 32-bit with a parallel port and get another driver? Is it worth it to do something like that? I don't know. I mean, it seems like this thing should work. I got in contact with uh, the guy I bought this controller, motion controller from, uh, and he's sort of helping me out just a little bit, along with a few other guys, which I very much appreciate, because I just want to get this thing to work. That's all there is to it. With that being said, I know there's more of you guys out there that are more well-versed in Mach 3 and building your own CNCs. Just leave a few comments in the comment section if you have any ideas, because I just... I'm excited to get this thing to work and I've gotten this far already. I'm no electronics guy, but I don't know. I just want to figure it out. And with the help of you guys, just let me know what you think. And I will be glad to take in any advice you guys give. Thanks again for all your help, support, advice. And most of all, thanks for watching.